All right, we're going to go now to Mexico, where voters have just elected the country's very first female president. Claudia Sheinbaum was the hand-picked candidate to succeed the, succeed the current president amid tensions with the U.S., of course, over those border crossings. Enrique Acevedo is in Mexico City for us with more on the election that was heavily overshadowed by violence. Celebrations in the street of Mexico City overnight to usher in president-elect Claudia Sheinbaum. On Sunday, thousands line up in the sweltering heat, some even camping out overnight, to vote for the 61-year-old former climate scientist. It's important for you to show your daughter that she can be president, that ella puede ser presidenta también. But while Sheinbaum brings a new face to the presidency, will it be a new era for Mexico? The president-elect campaigned on social welfare policies that boosted broad support for her predecessor and political mentor, current president Andrés Manuel López Obrador. But one of the biggest issues remains security and violence. Mexico has seen a 150% uptick in violence, with 37 candidates assassinated during the election cycle, the murders linked to cartels who control much of the drug trade in the U.S. For the first time, uh, it kind of like makes sense for criminal organizations to try to control local governance. They are targeting mayors, right? And mayors are in charge of local police. And while immigration remains a lightning rod in American politics, it's a topic most Mexican candidates avoided. When push comes to shove, it is the U.S. policy that Mexico will have to adapt to rather than Mexico having its own migration policy. And as one of the U.S. most crucial economic partners, leaders in Washington will be watching closely to see which direction Mexico takes under its new leadership. Particularly in terms of Mexican stability and Mexican reliability for the U.S. For CBS Mornings, Enrique Acevedo, Mexico City.